it's one thing if a team is making adjustments against the Baltimore Ravens and they really find a way to counter something that the Ravens are doing that's just really, really working. And so shout out to those opposing defense, but a lot of times it feels like opposing defenses don't even have to do that. Because the Baltimore Ravens, they have this issue. They have this problem. Now, it's a great thing because they still 7-3 and three despite it. But they have an issue with shooting themselves in the foot from going away from what's working, from being their own worst enemy. And it's such a significant problem. We see it in every loss that the Baltimore Ravens have endured thus far this season. But what's so dangerous about it, too, is that we've seen it in a lot of the wins as well. Now, we've continued to commend the Baltimore Ravens because most times, obviously, because they won seven games out of ten, but most times they've been able to overcome being their own worst enemy. But it's something that through ten weeks we would expect it to sort of dwindle down. We would expect it to decrease the rate of themselves them shooting themselves in the foot. We would expect that to go down a lot. So hopefully moving forward, they will. But let's just revisit a recent scenario where they did just that. But before we get into it, team keep it clean. Ravens legends Ray Lewis and Air Reed, they teamed up with our partners at Notable Live to bring you authentic autograph items handpicked by these Hall of Famers personal collection. Visit notable.live slash Ravens Auctions to see the wide variety of unique and collectible items that they've selected. They have signed original lithographs and prints, Pro Bowl worn items, footballs, jerseys, helmets, and other collectibles too. These items are available now through November 18th, so you gotta move fast. Notable Live is your go-to platform for connecting with your favorite sports heroes through live virtual events, collectible auctions, and in-person experiences year-round. That's notable.live slash Ravens Auctions, and the link is in the description below now speaking of something that was notable that we watched live was in this previous game against the cleveland browns and that was the fact that that boy keaton mitchell was going off his very first carry he took it what 39 yards to the house for a touchdown and it was a beautiful thing and so much of us were thinking oh we remember what he did in that seahawks game we remember what he did in the preseason so oh yeah that was his first carry but it certainly won't be his last keaton mitchell is about to go off again so we were all hyped about it and then a little later on shortly after that 39 yard touchdown run they hit him with a screen he, he and he made the raven screen game look so beautiful I almost thought he was about to take that one to the house too so keaton mitchell was getting involved early and often but let's look at the the second half numbers for keaton mitchell because in the first quarter it was a 39 yard rushing touchdown uh and also in the first quarter it was that 32 yard uh that screenplay that catch and run uh but then in quarter two in the second quarter, he had that negative seven-yard rush. And with that one, Ravens were trying to get a little cute with him. I'm like, all right, okay, you tried it. I ain't got no problem with you trying it. Because if it would have worked, okay, no problem. We would have been cheering and screaming and yelling and all that. Uh, but then in, in quarter three, he had a he had a, uh, a two-yard rush. So it's okay. He got a little two yards. Okay, what else are we going to do, Keith Mitchell? Never saw him touch the ball again. Never. Not once. Not, I don't even think it got fake to him. Never saw him touch the ball again. So it's like the Baltimore Ravens, they have somebody that most of the times this season alone, when they've touched the ball, they've made excellent things happen. They've made great things happen in just a small, limited amount of time. But the Ravens decided, you know what? This is working so well. It's working so We're not going to do it anymore. We're going to go away from it. And it just, it didn't make any sense at all. It didn't make any sense live. I know Harbaugh talked about it in the presser. Uh, he said, that, hey, that's just the way the game went. What? Then he talked about, oh, well, maybe we thought that we didn't uh, feel comfortable uh, putting all that on that, that, that rookie's plate, giving all that, that responsibility to that young player. I still feel like that was inexcusable of the Baltimore Ravens to literally do nothing with Ke and a lot of times he wasn't even on the field. It wasn't even just the fact that he didn't touch the ball. That was bad enough. But he wasn't on, even on the field at all. Like hardly at all. Because with what he did early on in the game, he clearly established himself as a legitimate threat, as a legitimate weapon, as a legitimate option against the Cleveland Browns. So the Browns, when they saw number 34 on the field, they would have to watch. Be, hey, 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 they go, hey, they go 34. He coming out on the field. Hey, watch him. Why, please, get extra people. Get ready, because we know he about to get the ball. But the Ravens were like, you know what? Browns, 
you don't you won't even have to make adjustments we're gonna make it easy for you we're gonna remove keep midget from the game plan <laughs> how about that and it just it, it didn't make any sense so the, the baltimore ravens they, they got to stop this nonsense we're just hurting themselves lamar jackson in the interception that he threw or one of the two interceptions that he threw because with the second interception that went for a pick six that is raven shooting himself in the foot but with lamar jackson um can't really do anything if your offensive lineman he literally getting pushed back your offensive lineman is on the ground and, and the player is, is jumping up in the air into the passing lane but anyway that first interception that lamar jackson threw right before halftime again raven shooting themselves in the foot that was all on Lamar, all on one hundred percent on Lamar Jackson, and whether it was a miscommunication, whether again, I, I think that he thought that Bateman was coming back, but Bateman was going, whatever it was, it was terrible, and it gave the Browns an easy, easy interception, took away points from the Baltimore Ravens, took away possible points from the Baltimore Ravens, uh, and gave the Browns the ball back. So Ravens just they they cannot keep shooting themselves in the foot because if you continue to because it's been happening all year whether it's been the fumbles because we know it's been a lot of fumbles uh, whether it's been the interceptions here and there's it's been some interceptions for sure uh, whether it's been the game plan the strategy whether it's been the the, the usage or lack thereof of certain players because. Keaton Mitchell is just the newest guy. He, he's just the newest guy to get involved in that. Um, but we, we know with Gus Edwards, early on this season, his usage was it was weird. But that's been a problem with Gus Edwards for years. So the fact that it was happening earlier this year, is, it was sad, but it's nothing new. And this has been a problem with the Baltimore Ravens for years. Um, so they, they cannot continue to be their own worst enemy. Uh, because it's happened everywhere. It's happened with the players. It's happened with the coaching staff. It's happened. Everybody shares a lot of the blame in this because it's, it's been such a consistent thing. And we've talked about, we've, it seems like we talk about this like every week. Well, except against the Seahawks and except against the Lions. So we ain't talk about it, don't we? But besides those games, it seems like we, we always having this conversation. And if we continue to have this conversation through the rest of November, if we continue to have this conversation through the rest of December, and if we continue to have this conversation in January, we won't be having a conversation in February. We won't be having any conversations at all in February because the Ravens simply won't make it that far if they continue to do these things. So it's important that the Ravens recognize what it is, recognize all these issues, address them, and take care of it ASAP.